تركت طريقي ولا لن أحيد عزمت المسيرة في عزم حديد وودع دنياي قلب عنيد ترجه طرفي لأرض الوطن Because of your donations, we were able to save his life. What happens, man? You hire a cameraman, you know you start well, carrying even the cameraman needs to rest. Show me, show me your boarding pass. Show me your boarding pass. I think. Let's see where this guy's sitting. Yeah. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven C. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is this is this twenty-seven or is it twenty-eight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's up? Well, this guy. Look. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Boy, see. Twenty-eight C. So this is my seat. I gave it to you. Love it. And not only that, and now he's taking the armrests. And he's taking the armrests. <laughs> he has the window and he has the armrest. This guy has the no, oil and he has the armrest. It's protecting us. Just if it's an emergency, the most fit hour. guy sits on the edge. Oh, this guy with his on, You know I'm the most fit guy. <laughs> Why is he wearing a tank top? He's wearing a tank top, then he takes my he takes my top. But he wears a tank top. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Me? <laughs> this guy, oh so we're walking out and he just gets a guy. He's like, yo, did you forget something? I was like, I don't think so. And then I remember this guy obviously had to cover up his nakedness in the plane, so he took my shirt. So he gets naked and then he grabs my shirt off him. Why do you keep saying naked? And then, and then I forgot it in the lounge and he's like, oh, no, let's leave, I'll buy you a new one, bro. So, look at this, guys. All right, this is my body, yeah? Look how small this is. Hey, come on, let's go, man. Let's go, it's yeah, right? The problem with Zach, when you laugh at his jokes, even if they're good or bad, sometimes you just laugh out of sympathy. He gets gassed and then he just goes extreme, he goes past them beyond. We made it, we're going to sleep in the Lata'ala tomorrow morning, we have 18 families that we are going to furnish the house and move in, inshallah. And a few of the special cases that we need to finish up. The today that we went on, there was three to four people that jumped on towards the inn and started donating. Let's go, let's go. So we're here one month ago and I did promise that we're gonna do her surgery for her. Alhamdulillah, she's got her eye surgery. So what if Halik? Alhamdulillah. Now we have Amni Tajmeen, which is the plastic surgery that's gonna be next. She's been waiting for the surgery for the longest time. Since March. March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Seven months. She's lost all her family. She's lost her kids. She's lost everything. The biggest smile on her face is for Allah. These families are getting a new home today. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Some of them are crying. Some of them have tears of joy. And some of the staff are also a bit sad. The nurses, the doctors, they formed a relationship with them. These people have been here the past eight months. Their luggage is behind us. We have a bus that's going to take them and relocate them and put them in the apartments. Be the letter Allah. And you're going to receive monthly support through your donations may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the best thing about it is after four to six months when they get back on their feet they get a job and wallahi it just keeps going more families more families it doesn't stop just got to the apartments alhamdulillah they're gonna be 11th 12th 13th 14th floor set of families <laughs> I happy. I happy. Anyway, India. I happy. I happy. Can I say happy? I happy. So we got this first room, the living room. And the everyone's very happy. We got the gas. We got the fridge. We got the kitchen. We also have the toilet. I don't know where the lights are, but and we got second room and the master room let's keep going uh, it's actually a workout yeah. Salam alaikum. And was at it. so first they grabbed this entire building we grabbed the last minute and 
found out you know the elevator wasn't working so they're working on fixing that it's going to be fixed in two days inshallah so in the meantime we're going to have to pull them up manually literally because obviously some people can't use the stairs <laughs> These guys are pulling the elevator. These stairs are a bit dodgy, but I'm used to them from the Libya days. These makeshift wooden oh. ladders. So the elevator is not working, and this is where they lift people manually with their hand. Bro, I've got the smallest room ever, I'm telling you. The genius of my room, man. They're giving me the evil eye. We have some special cases to see in Iskenderia. That's an hour and a half away from here, inshallah. So this is brother Mahmoud, METW helped him out. They gave him uh, accommodation, helped him with the rent, and now he's a part of the team as well, inshallah. Let's go. This is brother Mahmoud. And listen, come here, come here, show me your face. Yeah. You scratched too, bro. Huh? You reckon it's Jin? You scratched too. What bro, is Jin? I slept, woke up, and then I found this. <laughs> so weird, innit? So we're 30 minutes into the journey and we just hear a mad rumble and then a big combustion. So we park up, we're looking around, looking at the tires, everything's good. And then we look underneath the car and it's leaking. So we call the guy and he's like, nah, nah, it's grand. Drive, drive, drive. We get on the road again. We said, drive him, boom, another bang. And then like a little <laughs> sound. I don't know what to call that sound. I don't know how to describe it, but that was the actual sound. We park up again, we call the guy, and he was like, you know what? I'm on my way. And you do the right stuff, I'll just hear in this, you know? It's definitely hear in this. So yeah, we just packed up. At least it's AC. And you know what I'm paranoid about? Being on the motorway, getting hit from the back, getting rear-ended. Because he was going slow at the far out lane, and I was like, bro, please, let's just park up and then just do your phone call or do whatever so we can sort this thing out because the last thing I want is for us to get slammed. Alright, we're off again and guess what happens? It doesn't break down but now this guy stops us and he's warning us. He's like, stop, stop, stop. So I think now the attachment from below is falling off so he just gave us zip lines. Like Allah for me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we just made it to Skenderi, alhamdulillah, it's been a long day. It's 9 p.m. and we still haven't started. But it's not an issue. We're looking for a home appliances store right now, so we can purchase some things before seeing this case. We've been looking after this case, alhamdulillah, to see it. Visited the lady last time, got them a wheelchair, but they still need some things for the apartment. Also, the man was just in hospital and he was in a critic condition. And if we didn't know about him, Allah alam, he would have been with us. Of course, Al-Amar Azawajal. We had poisoning in his blood and he was in the hospital the past week. And we just paid for his hospital bill yesterday. So the guy is charging us via kilo. He's weighing out the pots and this is how he's actually charging us. <laughs> <laughs> إن حبل الله يا هذا متين محكم النسج ومن أقوى الحيد. أي المرتبة أقول لك أنا. أنا عاوز أخذ سرير على المرتبة بتاعك. أنا وصف لك واحد في وش التويل عند التويل عند الترموي. Kitchen appliances now we're looking for the home appliances. Also, we've tried to purchase beds, but we're not able to find someone who sells beds and mattresses in the same place. So when we go to the mattress store, they tell us we need to go to another place to purchase the bed and vice versa so it's just a bit complicated like, it's not even complicated like if we had a big van or a truck it would have been all right but we have a small car so then we also need to think of delivery <laughs> So we just got the home appliances, we got the kitchen accessories, we got the bed, we got someone to deliver them and now we are on our way. I can tell you I can faint any minute, sugar levels are low man. Ah, Bismillah, Allah majalu fi sabirik. That's how I used to go to school in Libya. When Garuli came from the hospital, 
نعم تو كيف طلع ولا لا؟ So this brother here is half paralyzed. He has an application due to diabetes. You know when you have diabetes and the sugar levels go really high, your blood gets very viscous. So it can't supply nutrients to the far right limbs. One of them is the foot and the leg. And sometimes when it gets damaged, infections happen, and then it gets to the bone and it spreads. So for you to cut that off, you need to you know, do an amputation. Because of your donations, we were able to save his life. His blood was poisoned and he has some kidney issues. And obviously his speech also is a bit heavier. We asked him, what do you need in terms of like kitchen appliances and stuff like that? Look, they're like, Taysir, you've been here before. You've seen what we guys have. We have absolutely nothing. I didn't think it was that bad, but we have another case here uh, that we need to treat as soon as possible before it gets to the point of amputation. She has a lot of wounds and infections in her leg. They need to be cleaned up. Of course, they are in poverty and they can't afford medication. They can't afford hospital visits. They can't afford any of that. Yeah, but we have a doctor here that we trust and he kind of assesses these conditions. So he's going to come in tomorrow. He's the one that actually saved this brother's life as well. Okay. خلاص هي ان شاء الله بارك الله فيك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته. نور ولا غدا ولا عشاء الحمد لله. يا رب محمود الحمد لله في سبيل الله في سبيل الله. We're sitting have breakfast it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock and every time we're like we get food. No 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 let's get this mission done let's get that mission done. That's how much leg space I have. Not even an hour and a half later. It's torture, man. I should not even went to sleep. Hey, Allah Salam, as Hello, we asked this guy over here. You know, who are you listening to? Salam. Oh, this guy's so funny, he thought he was going to catch me out. He grabs it and he thought he was going to listen to music, but what was it? He's actually listening to a sheikh. Uh, sounds like Sudais. Bro. <laughs> 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 <laughs>